Carl here from Games, Brains and Headbang, LifeGBHBL.com for sure. And it's album review time. It's taking a look at the iconic Grammy award winning US rock band High on Fire and their new album. But not just a new album, they're also celebrating the 25th anniversary. So congratulations on making it that far. It's Come of the Storm. It is the new album and it is out on April 19th via MNRK Heavy. Now, I think High on Fire seem reinvigorated as of late. And the proof, for me, is in this groovy, fun and heavy rock album. An album that isn't necessarily doing anything new, but that hardly matters when you get something that hits as hard as it does. I find it hard to believe that most won't be all in from the moment the crashing lamb's bread arrives. And that's before the smashing burning down comes along. With these first two tracks, that reinvigoration is clear. But we're also hearing a more intense side to High on Fire too. You're used to hearing intense, thunderous groove though, as the whole album is packed with hefty instrument instrumentals and powerful vocals. High on Fire adding some real meat to the bones of their sound and showing that nine albums in, they're still as hungry as ever. And it's pretty clear that the writing for Come of the Storm was quite a creative period for the trio, as track after track hits nicely. As things go on, Trismegistus showcases a guitar and drum combo that compels the head to bang. Not just because of the thumping heaviness or the riffs either, as this is a track with an absolute screamer of a guitar solo too. Then the title track comes along to offer up something with sludgy, stoner and psychedelic vibes. Again, you just gotta love the guitar soloing here. Just High on Fire's continued creative juice is absolutely flowing. How about the vibes that Karnalik Yol gives off though? An instrumental that is all about Middle Eastern melodies and rhythms. A very imaginative piece that helps refresh things ready for more roaring, hairy, rock groove, groove with Soul's Golden Curse. Big fan of that track. Though, do you fancy something more straightforward? Something no frills? Something straight to the point high on fire? You're going to get it. It is the beating Tough Guy and Lightning Beard. Three of the more simplified offerings on the album, but with varying degrees of classic high on fire sounds, filled with all manner of hip shaking, fist raising, air guitaring, and head banging moments. I think it's pretty hard to not still be having a blast with this record at this late stage of it. Never forget though that there is so much more to the high on fire sound though, and the three members are always capable of delivering more than most expect. Take uh, Matt Pike specifically. Even though uh, I don't want to single any one particular out, it feels wrong to single one member out, but it has to be mentioned because not only is he killing on guitar here, his vocals are sounding stronger than ever, and no more proof is needed than how he sounds on Hunting Shadows, the penultimate track. I think he sounds fantastic here and high on fire fans are going to absolutely love this love this one completely and utterly but for good damn reason i'm not the biggest high on fire fan but i am well on board of this and recognizing it as a quality quality piece of music but we're not quite done yet though and it saved the biggest for the end it's darker fleece and it comes at two comes in at two seconds short of 10 minutes long that should tell you immediately that you're in line for something quite special. But even then, it can't quite prepare you for what it offers. To call it an undertaking is to underplay how experimental it is. The work of geniuses or the work of mad men. Either way, it has impact and helps solidify this album as another great release from an iconic band. I really enjoyed this record, had a blast all the way through and it turned me into a more, more of a fan than I was previously of High On Fire. It is Come Of The Storm, their ninth studio album and it's out on April 19th via MNRK Heavy. You got any thoughts you want to share with me? You know what to do? Drop them in the comments. Thank you very much for watching. If you'd like to see more content like this, please consider hitting the subscribe button. It is gratefully appreciated. You can find us over at gbhbl.com, our full website where reviews, news and so much more goes up daily. We're also on all social media platforms, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, threads, at gbhbl. Just search for gbhbl and you will find us out there. We also have merchandise on sale. You can access the shop via the website.